DIY Draining Intex Pool There are several ways to drain a pool of which you would yield the same result. The one method, however, you should not try is using a sledgehammer, for obvious reasons. I want to think the reason he keeps hitting the metal frame is so the water drains faster. But this just looks like pool assault to me, because every pool has a drainage system, including this one. Even if you intend to drain your Intex pool in an abandoned land, it'll never be used again. Even though I'm not entirely sure how you'll find one, the proper drainage method requires that you use a water hose and be patient enough to allow all the water out of the pool. First, remove any pool accessories from the pool so they don't clog the hose. Also, be on the lookout for debris. After that, select the area you want the water to drain from, and remember to position the end of the hose away from your house and towards the hardscape areas. Check to see that the drain plug is where it's supposed to be. If it is, go ahead and remove the cap from the drain valve. After checking that the end of the hose is in the right place, attach the other end to the drain connector. And voila! You're on your way to draining your pool without getting drained yourself, if you know what I mean. DIY Haircut Even if you are the most experimental person alive, you should know to keep your hair out of it. Otherwise, you just might end up suffering the same fate as this lady. For some reason, the lady thinks it's a good idea to push all of her hair forward, tie it together, and then have it chopped off. What's worse is she goes on to enlist the help of a friend. It's not certain the kind of look she was going for, but it's obvious she had long hair, so a bob maybe? And that brings me to my next point. If you're going to shorten the length of hair to look like a bob, why bring all the hair forward? No matter how you look at it, the haircut was ill-fated from the very start, proving once again that even when the steps are properly outlined, the problem often lies in the execution. While we're at it, please know that it's safer to cut your hair bit by bit than to do a big chop all at once. Understand your type of hair and the type of haircut it'll accommodate. Otherwise, you would be setting yourself up for disaster. Just in case you're not convinced, here's another reason you should even out your hair before cutting instead of tying it up. Remember, cut it in bits, not chops. Veering lengths and a catastrophic look are the only things that will come out of that.